Presenting the Tennessee Ernie Ford Show. And here he is, Tennessee Ernie Ford. All righty. Last Friday, we had a group of young fellers come by to see us and audition for our show. And uh, they organized a little Dixieland jazz band and when you see them, I guess, uh, what's the ages? About uh, 12 to 14, 10 to 12 years old. And we were just thrilled to death. So I said, look, why don't you come on the show Monday? And they did. You're going to like these young gentlemen. It's Circus Red and his Freckles. Let's make them welcome. <laughs> Get in here and sit down. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. Say, that's fine. That's real good. You don't, let's everybody get in where we can talk here a minute. Now, didn't I tell you they were good, huh? Ain't that fine? That's real great. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get some names. Who's the trombone man? Tim Doran. Tim Doran. Jay DeVerta. I remember you. I remember you, too. Yeah, you <laughs> came on the show one time, man. Yeah. Now you're playing Dixieland. Yeah, you like it? Fun. Yeah. This one? I'm Bob Crosby. <laughs> what? Bob Crosby. <laughs> Bob Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> you know it might be. <laughs> <laughs> Looks kind of like Bob Crosby, don't it? You range Bob Crosby. Yep. And a Dixieland, well, you're, you with that name, you're getting into starting out like he did, you know. Playing Dixieland. What's your name? Bill Baldwin. You're not, uh, you're Bill Baldwin, Jr. Mm -hmm. I know your dad. You do? I sure do. He's one of the finest announcers in TV and radio today. Don't you think so, too? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And who's the little fella over there on the banjo? Frank Strade. <laughs> Frank Strade? Yeah. Frank, you beat a mean banjo, man. <laughs> How much do you boys practice? How'd you get together? Well, I just got organized. Got organized? We were auditioned by Mr. Collingsworth, and um, he, we had some um, rehearsals. And, Is uh, Crosby getting through? Can you hear him on? <laughs> a little louder, Bob. Well, we were auditioned by Mr. Hollingsworth, and um, we had some rehearsals and Mr. stuff. Mr. Hollingsworth? Uh-huh. Who's he? Well, he's our... Um, Leader. He's Circus Red. Circus Red. Well, that's what I wanted to know. He's Circus Red. We've got to, before I get on talking to you, here's the man that teaches and guides these people. You come in, take them out. I won't talk to you old folks anymore. I'm going to talk to the young ones again here. And you auditioned for him, and he uh, got you fellas together. Uh, yes. Yeah. And um, we have a... Uh, we have um, a writer for our music, and yeah. he's Ray Priam, and he writes special arrangements. He writes the arrangements for you uh -huh. to play here. Well, I'll say you read them good. I'll do that. Thank you. You want to play us another song? Where do you boys go to school? I go to North Hollywood Junior High. North Hollywood Junior High? I go to Roosevelt High. Elementary in Burbank. Uh -huh. I go to Clark Junior High, Waffle Center. Burbank Junior High, Dash Junior High. You're scattered everywhere, aren't you? <laughs> Then you get together to, uh, did I talk to everybody, I guess? Play us another song. Do you mind if, uh, if uh, an old man joins you on the second chorus of one? No. I might do it now. Okay? All right, you okay. start out one. I'll see what happens here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Our guest receives the RCA Victor Mark I, an aristocratic twin cabinet ensemble representing the very finest in contemporary high fidelity. Thanks for letting me sit in, fellas. Come back again real soon. Circus Red and the Freckle.